Oh my god, this seems so fishy. There's definitely something fishy going on here. Oh, oh, what's going on? Litigations. Oh, there's some sort of lawsuits. Uh, shut up. Okay? And I think you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to let you guys know that I don't think there's any merit. I don't think there's anything that even sounds remotely close from what I'm seeing here that is leading me to believe that AMC is going to be a choir Cinemark. I'm going to try and break this down in a simple way quick because I can't even, I, to be honest, I can't even believe I'm making a video on this bullshit, but I think it needs to be addressed. A couple things. So everybody is seeing, and I'm going to show you guys right here, okay? On the AMC movie website, you're seeing the Cinemark brand, right? No products in this category. Check later. Whatever. This, people are like, oh, what, what does this mean? First of all, this has been here since last year. Like, this is nothing new. It's recirculating. And I've, I've noticed that kind of happens in the AMC community. We ourselves sometimes regurgitate bullshit, right? Like, we just keep, it's, it goes in cycles. But in any case, I want you to pay attention to this, all right? And then what people are looking at is like, okay, what's going on? So you have, this website is powered by Only in Theaters LLC, right? So I did some research on there. I can't really find anything super definitive on there. Some of it leads back to a gentleman that used to be an actor and stuff, and maybe he is one of the guys that's responsible for operating this, but I don't think so. I haven't really made that connection yet. But what I have made is, so if you come over here and we're looking, okay, so we know only in theaters, right? Now let's go over and look at Cinemark, okay? What I want you to pay attention to, uh, you really can't see. Actually, I'm going to adjust this for you guys so you can see. What I want you to pay attention to up here is this I found one of the basically test build websites, right? That they're using. So cinemark.speartechbuilds.com. All right. So now what is what is what is Speartech? Or what what even led me to that? So now we can come back to Cinemark, right? Powered by Speartech. All right. So they have all over their site that uh Speartech is powering this, right? But when you start looking at the data in, in, on the search results, so right here, look, we see Spear Tech right here. When we actually do Spear Tech Cinemark, comes up the Cinemark shop is managed by a third party, only in theaters LLC. So w w let me round all this out. What I think what we're seeing happening, if you notice, the sites look very similar, don't they? Like the, the, the layout's pretty much identical. My theory on this, and this is a much more plausible theory to me than you know them getting acquired, especially because this has been there for a long time. Th these this data, my take is that this site spear tech they design both websites they're pretty big actually like i'll pull this up so if we go and look at spear tech here okay they do a lot of big brands so my and which is crazy because i think this is a mistake if they're doing such they, they got lazy when it comes to this stuff right uh when it comes to the amc and cinemark part but what i think happened is they were using the same assets so the same assets they used to build amc's website they used to also build cinemark websites almost like a copy and paste job right so somebody the developer the coder got lazy used some of the same assets on the brands and that's why you see this here i think it's negative on i think it doesn't really represent amc or cinemark in a really great light that they haven't went and addressed this with the web design company i think that that's something that should probably be handled but again i don't see anything that leads me to believe with all of this that amc is all of a sudden going to get acquired again if you look at again i know that spear tech builds is the one that's that is associated with um only in theaters LLC, right? Because look, it's built on Spear Tech, but then on the documentation, it shows the third party is only in theaters LLC. So either that, either only in theaters LLC is a, is managed by a, a, another company that uses right Spear Tech as their technology, as their their, their platform builder, or Spear Tech owns something that's like our theaters LLC, and they built their you know they have another little entity that's like that. What's really interesting too, as I was diving into this, if you go and look, I found this guy Mark Frederick. Right, he worked at Spear Tech for. 2002 to 2003, right? I haven't looked and when the website, when these websites were created, but these companies have, have been around for a while, right? So could have been built around that time, kept their contract with Spear Tech, something along those lines. But as you come down, check this out. So he did product development manager, product development manager for Radiant Systems, right? From December 1994 to January 2000, developed the movie ticketing product for AMC movie theaters and was the oversight for technical issues on the rollout in 1999 of 
200 sites. So in 1999, they rolled out 200 sites, I guess, maybe, uh, or 200 properties is I think what he's talking about. This dude built the ticket, uh, the ticketing system for AMC. So you have a connection there, and then you go to Speartech. He's worked there, probably says, hey, we have a connection with these guys. We've worked together in the past. You've seen what I built out the ticketing system. Now, look, I can. these guys can hook you guys up with the website. These are the dudes, right? These are the guys going to take it right. So breaking this all down, what I think what we're dealing with here is simple just some a company which is great i'm not saying this is right or wrong um but a company looks like they were just kind of using the same code over and over and didn't really clean it up brush it up very well um and you heard it here first if i'm wrong i'll be happy to eat my crow but i don't see anything that leads me to believe that this is amc acquiring cinemark and i think anybody that's pushing any other narrative um has ulterior motives that's all but anyways love you long time i will catch you guys all on the flip side peace